Over the last few days, you may have heard something about me, more than I would have intended and not what I would have wanted. But I'm an ordinary guy who has his flaws and I just want to explain to you why I'm here and who the real Yusuf is. Today, I speak to every single Gibraltarian as a living example and as the product of their humanity, opportunity and inclusion. Speaking to you is the immigrant child who at birth was denied the right to live together with his family. A family who had come to the aid of our Gibraltar at one of the most difficult times in our history. But fate would dictate a different story. When at the age of three, I was visiting Gibraltar on a temporary visa in 1997, and I was diagnosed with cancer to my right eye. A time that I don't remember much as a three-year-old, but a time which my family will never forget. A time where the values of humanity compassion and opportunity shone above everything else and with the support of many of my fellow Janitos, my journey as a Gibraltarian began. I had the fortune of learning from amazing educators without whom I would not be here today. They went above and beyond for me in school, at St. John Ambulance and at the Gibraltar Amateur Basketball Association. Families aside from my own who made me feel at home, unfortunately, the political systems in place were restrictive and I was unable to even cross the frontier freely until I became a British citizen at the age of 15. Not only was it a lack of opportunity that I was facing, but also a reinforcement of how I was not the same and how I did not belong. Well, today I speak before you all as a candidate for the GSD at this year's general election. I stand tall and proud of being Gibraltarian, of my heritage and of every single one of you who made today possible. You all contributed with love, education, compassion, and above all, humanity in the creation of who I am today. I stand in this election to ensure the values of inclusion, diversity, and representation that underpin our very society are strengthened now and in the future. Gibraltar is at a crossroads, and as we always say, no hay mal que por bien no venga. That is true but we have to ensure that we prepare, support and guide our future generations with so much uncertainty on the horizon. As the GSD, we will invest in our youth to secure our future and theirs in what is to come. As I speak to you today, hundreds of young Gibraltarians, just like myself, battle with a never-ending uncertainty about their future. When I say young people, I do not only speak of school-age youth. This extends to people past the age of 30 and beyond who have been subjected to 12 years of demoralizing and frankly undignified conditions, from temporary schemes that offer no long-term prospects or job security, zero-hour contracts, a lack of vocational courses, and no access to housing. Young people have found themselves stuck, quite literally, between a rock and a hard place. This has created a negative domino effect felt across all sectors of our wider Gibraltarian family. The overlooked, qualified candidates in order to cater for jobs for the boys, corruption, and so much more. Time and time again, I speak to fellow Gibraltarians who have had to endure years of rejection, abandonment, and frustration, whose lives have had to revolve around the ability to make it to the end of the month, instead of being excited about the future, the prospect of new opportunities, and the safety of a dignified life for them and their families. Today, I reach out to you with a message of hope, of trust and of commitment to you. In order for us to move forward as a community, we need drastic change. We need a comprehensive approach that focuses on the future fabric of our society, our youth. Our commitment is in improving youth opportunities across the board, enhancing apprenticeship programs, collaborating with other stakeholders like local businesses, industries and trade associations, to develop a wide range of apprenticeship programs in different sectors, such as technology, hospitality, and construction. This will be further strengthened by establishing partnerships with the College of Technology and Skills and the University of Gibraltar. Not everyone will choose a traditional path of education. Not everyone wants to take academic routes. We will ensure that apprenticeships and vocational training provide you with valuable practical skills and real-world experience for the future. And it goes without say that we will look into providing financial support 
and competitive grants for these alternative pathways as well. Safe and stimulating environments should not only be limited to schools or training centres. Our community youth clubs are hubs of creativity where young people develop their self-confidence, social skills and take part in recreational activities. We, as the GSD and as your future government, are dedicated to helping young people get the best start in life. Supporting existing youth clubs and establishing new ones will undoubtedly provide more positive platforms for young people and their aspirations. In doing this, and of course in collaboration with local NGOs, businesses and other youth organisations, our very youth clubs will be able to offer a variety of diverse programmes and clubs. They will also have the ability to provide training and support for leaders and volunteers, without whom this work would be impossible. Mentorship and guidance play a pivotal role in the lives of young people, and connecting our youth to the rest of the community will further strengthen our diversity, understanding and coexistence. We, as the GSD, believe that our future adults and young adults deserve support and access to as many opportunities as possible to strengthen their skills and prepare themselves for the future. In continuously monitoring and adapting this project, together, every single one of us, we will ensure the long-term success and positive outcomes for Gibraltar's young population. We decide on our future together on the 12th of October. And if, like us, you firmly believe that our young people, regardless of background or socio-economic status, deserve a chance to live their best life, that opportunities should be for all and that no one is to be left behind, then I ask you to please make sure you cast your votes for all 10 GSD candidates.